guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 10 of the Ice Guy and his cool female colleague. So, we gotta get started in, hold on, stupid thing is going dumb. In three, two, one, go. So, what's up? How are you doing? <laughs> so fucking cute. Loves you. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. It's not really a big, big blanket. It's more like almost similar to a throw blanket. Oh. <laughs> Oh, are you going to get her her earrings? <gasps> yes, get her earrings this time. But she likes jewelry. Every girl likes jewelry. Come on now. This is your time. This is the time. Mm -hmm. Listen to the snowman. Damn. It's right. Sleepover in the storm. Okay. <laughs> at least I'm doing this now at 1119 at night. And then instead of me trying to do this tomorrow and being uber busy, because the worst thing happened, like my uTorrent wasn't downloading and then I had to uninstall it and then I was trying to reinstall it and I wouldn't do anything. So then I'm like, well, let me um, <laughs> download the web version and that finally worked. And, -ish. and so I'm watching videos and I'm just like, okay, what the freak? I need to get started even though <laughs> the video that I was watching was really interesting and distracting at the same time. But I was like, I'm gonna get this done so that by tomorrow when I wake up, I can get started on several other things before my three shows come out. And then maybe also do my Patreon shows tonight. Because I'm not doing anything else after this. I think I'm probably just going to chill for the rest of the night until I go to bed. What? <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. That was a towel.
right? It makes no sense to walk either. I think that's a great idea. It'd be like a little vacation from home. Automatic feeder. Right? So you should be okay. At least have the guys come over your house. I mean, seriously. Five minutes away from your job. Bruh. There we go. A bachelor and bachelorette night for everybody. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should be able eventually to not be afraid of it. Cause she's the best girl. <laughs> right? <laughs> What are you doing with him? Are you just technically still friends? Don't you want to be his girlfriend? Mm -hmm. I mean, because Hajima is very cute. Definitely a cutie. A freaking hottie. I would date him. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> Okay, yes, I get that, but he has a big behind crush on you, girl. That the point is, he you're so blinded by him, like just being the junior, that you don't see the signs. And I get that. I've even had that with friends before, where I am so like blinded by being in love with someone else or having a crush on someone else that I don't recognize that someone else has had a crush on me. Side day.
<laughs> My thing is, okay, hold on. In this room, there's only one bed. Are all three of them going to share this bed? Shoot. That would be the one time, but like, damn, I wish I brought like an air mattress. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? It's the best thing to do. Yeah, you know what the messed up thing is? They all gotta go to work the next day. Oh my god, I'd be so upset. I'm like, damn. I can't have the day off. Storm. Wait, it's still that bad by the morning? Then, you know, they all get to stay in their respective homes or hotels. Right? You just, you know, do what is best for you. And then you give her the damn earrings. Because he wants to be a fly on a wall. <laughs> so, are you, yes, are you going to give her those earrings? Where the episode ends, so... Oh. Speaking of which... Thank God it was just a dream. Well, I mean, you know some girls. We don't want to make a big deal out of it. Sometimes. Plans with who? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's still a date, though. Except, you know, parents.
Poor baby, he's not gonna have any time. Oh my god. Uh. Every time he tries. <laughs> Damn, like if it's whether him calling her or someone calling him, it, it's just the stars, the stars are not being aligned for my babies tonight. Should not be sleepy. I literally just woke up from a nap. You have time. Just calm down here, you know. It's gonna happen. Okay, Kimino, this is your chance right here, right now, in this moment to give her the earrings. Mm -mm. Oh. Goodbye. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it weird that I'm kind of getting like proposal vibes with this? I mean, because like, okay, imagine as a guy, when you do want to propose to your significant other, guy, girl, whoever, and, and you're super nervous. Like, it's so fucking cute. Like I said, you just don't do it on, like, holidays. You never want to do Valentine's Day. You never want to do Christmas. Because especially, you know, if it was a ring. Mm, big no-no. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's not really that, but you can still take it. Here you go. Here you go. Yay! Good job, baby. As a confident man right there. Yes, I love that. Confident man!
I'm dying right now. Oh, they're so beautiful. Should I wear them now? <laughs> How do they look? Beautiful. That gave all the confession, all the proposal feels, but like, yeah, it's, oh my God. Oh, she looks so pretty. Goodbye. This was fucking cute as hell. Every episode of this series, cute as hell. That, like, it makes me want to go out and buy myself some snowflake earrings. But, you know, we're we're almost in springtime. We're, like, two weeks into almost being springtime. And, of course, you're not going to get snowflakes earrings unless you go, like, on Amazon or some ish. But those were very gorgeous. I've seen ones that are very just as gorgeous and pretty and expensive and it had to be very expensive to buy those earrings but you know for his future boo it's worth it because of course there are some guys who and i feel like in my opinion himino's love language in ish is gift giving to um for yusuke san now for the other way around um I think it's for her maybe just like being around him or even texting him and stuff. So whether that is, you know, how they say the physical touch, the gift giving, as I said, an example, or just talking, everyone has their different love language, which is cute. I feel like for me, mine is gift giving. Um, I do like it when people or my significant other, which I've had in the past, does give me gifts but I do also like to talk to them I always loved talking to him knowing about his day because you are curious it's the sweetest thing in the world he's talking to a cat or some some type of animal there is no way with the two episodes that we have left that this boy is talking to her being like, hey, yeah, let's move in. Let's go ahead and be a couple. Because uh, officially, we're 10 weeks into this show and they have not gotten together. Yes, you want them to get together. But of course, we, I, I'm guessing the final episode is initially when that's going to happen. So context clues on that last little bit. It has to be an animal, of course. Um, because of course, yes, he and Fuyuki both love cats, so since she has one, it makes the most sense for him, you know, to kind of also get a cat as well, so that let's say, you know, if the show was to get like a season two or an OVA, and let's say they were moving in together, they both could have cats that could turn into a couple, and that would be so fucking cute. My God, my guys, make me happy with the kitties. But, um... Definitely. The earring thing was very sweet. Like I said, love languages are just different ways and how you want in your personal feelings and situations around someone. Like I said, you know, one minute you could be like a gift giver. You want gifts. One minute you want a physical. Um, and sometimes you just want to talk to the person. It's just whatever makes you happy. When you are around that person, it's the best feeling in the world. You never, like everything, okay. 
if, if I could say, like, uh, other things with the best feeling in the world, getting your best boy or best girl in a gotcha system, you know, because all that hard work, or, like me, spending money, because I just did that with a new game that I'm now playing. Don't ask me how much money I spent, because you don't want to know. Uh, you're probably curious. But, yeah, go follow my Twitter. Go look at my Twitter. I didn't give an exact number for my grand total, but the my first one I was at seventy five, so that's how much money I spent the first time. The other time, yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. But adding everything all together, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna say anything else. But like I said, yeah, getting the getting your best boy, your best girl, a card or a um, well, it has to be a card, an SSR card, a UR, any type of card in the gotcha system type game whether it is I don't match the really girls love live Genshin since I'm officially now back on that game um the Niki game that I'm currently playing now as of today or tomorrow when y'all see this um any type of gotcha game when you get your best girl best boy that feeling that you have that feeling of accomplishment that high you get but at the same time I'm gonna go ahead and say this be reasonable. Please do not spend so much money. I know we like to game in ish. And, and sometimes we want to be that free to play player. And sometimes you want to be that play player. Spend your money wisely. <laughs> we all know. Because the last time, I, and I will never forget this. Like, every single time when I think of fate now, I am always reminded of the guy who spent, like, what, $3,000 or even more on getting one of the cards and in the end he didn't get it and everybody felt so bad for him but the the money i felt bad because he lost all that money and he ain't get shit and i was like how the fuck are you gonna get all that back that's a lot of money that's why i have limits and when i go over those limits i make sure that the next couple of weeks when I do eventually get paid, I work my ass off because I'm like, <laughs> we can't do that again for a hot minute. Which is worse because like one of my other gotcha games, either tomorrow or Thursday night, one of my best girls is coming and I'm not ready for that. And it's a, it's a permanent card, but because I love her so much, I instantly want to collect her cards very quick so that I am not stressed when it's her birthday and then I have to like try to get almost every other car that I am missing. But my other best girl in Bunsity, I'm always like, you know, whenever, whenever you want to come home, babe, whenever you want to come home. But when it comes to D4 DJ and Idol Master, please come the fuck home. Yes. Yes. So let my babies move in together by the end of this series, please. And let him, you know, have a cat. That's all. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to tourist episode 10 of the Ice Guy and his cool female colleague. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and uh, make videos every single day. <laughs> Join my show squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 11. Bye, guys.